Welcome back. This week you're joining us on the dock here in Campbell River, self-proclaimed salmon capital of the world, sitting on the 50th parallel here on Vancouver Island. We spent the weekend here because we had planned a meetup on Saturday night. We hosted our first ever boat meetup here aboard our floating home. It was so nice to see everybody. And then spent a few days stocking up on provisions before continuing our journey north. We're taking the slow scenic route all the way to Alaska. So if you're just joining us, subscribe and welcome aboard. Today we have been running around doing all the things we need to get off the dock again. So reprovisioning, we've got groceries, water, fuel, and we're pretty well ready to go now. So we're excited to get back out on the water. We're not quite sure where we're gonna end up tonight. The current is currently heading with us, heading south. The wind is blowing from the northwest. So we're gonna head down the straight around Mudge Point and then beat back up into the northwesterly until we reach a anchorage just a little bit up on the other side of Quadra where we can drop the hook for the night in hopefully a fairly settled condition. See you next time. That was a fun little stop in Campbell River. We've had a lovely few days here. We picked up our supplies. We've got our groceries, we've got fuel, we got water on board again, hung out with the family, caught up with a few friends. And now we've managed to leave the marina at the perfect time. A bit of current still in our favor, a little bit of light wind to puff us along. The sun is shining, it's absolutely gorgeous. We've already picked up to four and a half knots. There's just the trail end of the current continuing this way. And we're just gonna head down around the south end of Quadra Island before turning back into the wind and heading back north. The Discovery Passage is notorious for hosting some of the most hazardous waters on this coast. The Pacific Ocean wraps around both the northern and southern ends of Vancouver Island and converges just south of here, producing some pretty squirrely waters that are not to be underestimated. The narrow width of this passage just north of here creates some of the fastest tidal flows in the world. Even on a calm day like today, the strong tidal forces result in confused waters and choppy waves. Riding the last of the flood current, we were cruising swiftly southbound, giving the area of water around Cape Mudge a wide berth. The shallow waters of Wilby Shoals are a fishing hotspot, so darting between the bustling traffic of recreational fishing boats and commercial shipping vessels kept us busy and alert at the helm. Once we rounded the shallow cape, we took the wind on our beam and hoisted the main. Thank <laughs> you. 
So it's been a really nice and interesting sale this evening. We've pretty well done all points of sale, which is keeping us busy. The sun is warm, the seas are calm, and there is lots to look at. And now crossing Sutil Channel, we are cruising along at about five knots. Yeah, five, five and a half. And it's a beautiful point of sale. It's very calm. We're thinking we're gonna spend the night in an anchorage called Manson's Landing. It'll be pretty protected and it's also a really nice anchorage. And we have some friends that are planning to drop the hook there as well. So it'll be a bit of a boat meetup and uh, we're really looking forward to it. a little scout around and see what we can find. We might need to stir and tie. Yeah, that might be what we have to do. So our friend Tony is anchored just over here and we're gonna row over because she has some kitty cats. <laughs> I'm so excited for the kittens. How much do we love kittens? We love kids. kittens. Kittens. <clears throat> we love kittens. <laughs> Definitely not kids, we love kittens. <laughs> Look at her new paint. It was such a fun project, like pulling it up onto the beach. Yeah. Like just painting it on the rocks. Crazy. Saved myself a couple thousand bucks too. Yeah, I'd say. That's amazing. See, it looks. So we were a little bit nervous last night when we were anchoring. The um, anchorage here is really, really deep and we ended up dropping out here in the middle in 85 feet of water, which is a lot because we only have 30 feet of chain and we have to hand bomb our anchor. We ended up doing an entire loop of the anchorage and we're gonna anchor up in the other end, but then ended up chatting with some people who told us not to. So we ended up coming back here and anchoring, but we were really concerned about dragging because we could only really have like two and a half out to one because we were swinging super wide and it's like packed with boats at the moment. Um, we did look over here, but ended up choosing not to because it gets shallow really, really quick. And um, this morning, the person who came in and just dropped their hook straight away out there last night in at high tide um, is laying there on his side. Which I feel sorry for him. He can't really do much until the high water comes back. Hang out and make coffee like this. But we thought that was going to be us and we're very thankful that it's not this morning. I was worried that we were going to drag and be up on the cliff or up on the rocks. I think I was having dreams about that this morning actually. <sighs> but it is a beautiful morning for us, comfortably swinging here in the middle of the bay. 
Once the high tide rolled around, our neighbor's boat uprighted itself without any damage. Cheers to that. Can't wait to have you on board next week when we participate in our first ever sailing regatta. Welcome guys, this is sailboat racing. <laughs> the best sailing race you've never heard of. Full moon regatta happens every year on the full moon in August. We're sailing close hold upwind in this very light sketchy wind and we're apparently meant to go around a buoy some, somewhere out here. Crazy. Crazy. In a riveting turn of events, the wind has just shifted and we are now... We're second last, sorry. Excuse me. Which is going to be actually our personal best. We are gaining on our adversaries. Good race, you guys. Ciao for now.